Hey there, my name is Max Dovey. I am the pathway leader for the MA Fine Art Computational Arts at Camberwell College of Arts. I am a performance artist. I've often worked with code, programming, data. I've always been fascinated by the, the way that data affects society, specifically bodies and the way we experience our lives. So my practice often involves performance, participation, a little bit of improvisation. Trying to think of a good practitioner in the field of computational arts, Ruth Catlow at Furtherfield, um, Charlotte Webb here at the CCI with the Feminist Internet. Um, there's people in the US, uh, scholars and theorists who talk about race and technology, Ruha Benjamin, for example. So anything that comes out of the Institute of Network Cultures, if you're interested in a more critical lens. So the sort of subject or experience that we expect a student to have is to be interested in computation, not just simply to be interested in using technology in terms of the manifestation of their work, because many fine art practitioners and designers are using technology to demonstrate and present their work, but actually to think about computation within the process and the materiality and some of the subjects that computation impacts. So for example, you might have a drawing practice, but if you're interested in um, binary states and Boolean logic, for example, so some ideas around computation, how code is written, you could be exploring that with a very handheld tactile drawing practice. So people often ask if you need a coding background to join the computational arts pathway, and the short answer is no, you don't. You need an interest in coding and technology, and we would like it if you had an interest in the process and the material and the social political impact that technology has on society. The common question about applying for this course is whether you need to have or come from a fine art background and the answer is no. We're much more interested in hearing from students or practitioners that have an interest in how technology is shaping society from an ethical and social justice lens where your practice has been in the past 5, 10, 20, 50 years is irrelevant in terms of the discipline. Um, we're interested in designers, activists, people coming from NGOs or public sector. The fine art element is really a, a framework for us to interrogate and support your development. The output and where you present and show your work it's up to you to decide when you graduate and leave the MA programme. But we use fine art as a critical vehicle to get your work to a place that is impactful, rewarding and powerful. Computational Pathway sits within that broader MA Fine Art programme and you've got a number of different pathways, each supporting you with whatever your specialism or interests are, but we all interact with each other on a weekly basis. So there's visiting talks, weekly programmes, exhibition visits, um, different crits that we begin interacting with throughout the year. The Computational Arts Pathway can interact with the Creative Computing Institute in a number of ways. There's one-on-one -on -one tutorials that we can arrange, and we can also arrange for students to um, meet each other and work because we're sharing a lot of shared spaces. So we like to think of our relationship as a diagnostic and responsive way. So it's really about your practice and your needs what, during your time here. So the facilities and technology that's available to students on the computational arts pathway First off, you've got the shared studio here, which is an enabled studio, it has a complete lighting rig to do any sort of lighting, hue saturation that you imagine for film, moving image work. There's a whispering chamber down the corridor where you can do like crystal clear sound recordings. We've got a few 3D printers. There's a lot of media production facilities. Um, and we've also got the CCI here if you're doing uh, creative coding, uh, interactive computing, physical IoT stuff. That's all here too. Thank you.